Hello guys, I'm Kamran from Graphics Currents and this is our fourth lesson of Element 3D course. Uh, and in this lesson I'm going to tell you all about materials. Materials in Element 3D as it is a rendering engine. It contains materially materializing sorry. So here I've loaded the animation uh, from the uh, part two the of our lesson. Now I'm going to show you how to materialize this thing. There is this is called a material there it has zero textures there you add some textures if you have um, gone through some 3d softwares like Maya and 3ds max you must be familiar with textures textures are pictures uh, 3d pictures uh, that just wrap on your 3d model and make it look more realistic colored in your sense so here are diffuse specular reflection illumination normal bump occlusion and environment so first we are going for some kind of diffuse map so here uh, my model is right here in um, you can say in my repository here is the green arrow and I've got some textures this is a diffuse texture so I, I'm just going to drag this into the diffuse slot diffuse means color texture and the normal map just adds some detail some um, more detail on the surface of your 3D model and it's uh, always bluish something like that so normal bump place it there and then there is the specular map it's used for specular shining so you added that also now you can see your character is colored it looks more realistic so we go downward there is the diffuse color what it does so now I'm going to show you what diffuse does I'm going to clear all these because I've shown you how to uh, do something with them. So what diffuse color does, it gives an overall color to your 3D model, like this. Like you can see, uh, your 3D model is now of red color, like this. Then is the diffuse amount, how, one, how much you want to diffuse this up. You can give it more, but it looks more unrealistic and unnatural. Then is the specular increase the specular amount and you can see some kind of shining on your object here you can increase the shining amount like this more of it looks um, more unnatural or something made up of clay then is the embedded amount the embedded lighting as you know you can make it less make it more um, to give it an overall um, chromatic look so these were the basic settings now we come to reflection you, um, Element 3D is not a ray tracer. So it cannot reflect other 3D models, but can reflect some environment maps, which you can select from here, environment. There are some by default given as um, one version, uh, which is pretty sharp, and the other is blur. And you can also load from file, which I'm not going to do right now. So I'm going to get something like uh, garden, so as to show you. You can show the environment from here and can rotate it by right clicking and dragging you can see how it affects your object so now you can increase uh, your reflection and it starts to reflect don't do it uh, more than 100 percent just as much as you want and then fresnel is just a basic fresnel option fresnel bias just leave it to normal i usually don't use fresnel which is uh, the index of reflection uh, depends uh, you want to make water or you want to make something else from it and then you come to illumination which is pretty 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 um, interesting you add some illumination to your material it will start illuminating and you will get more uh, of it in the rendering uh, part of your lesson uh, it will tell you uh, about glow and and uh, luminance so we'll be covered later and I'm gonna make it to zero and make this change to zero then is the force opacity as I've uh, told you it makes your object um, a lot bit transparent the pixels uh, sorry the polygons to be transparent then there is the alpha threshold which is usually uh, not used here is the made shadow it makes your object uh, to be invisible but its shadows should be visible and there is 
ignore and then propose you. Uh, useful objects which are pretty uh, blended in your environment and don't need any of uh, extra undating and closing. And this is the undating and closing amount which I will tell you later um, in the later settings. So this was all about uh, materials and uh, how to use some materials. But uh, now I want to tell you about textures, more about textures, how to get some video textures. So in order to tell you about that, I'm going to load some video right now, right here. Um, like I'm going to load some video right here, which will be a pretty short one, but must be something. Uh, let me show you something. So this is a video I've loaded. Now I want this texture uh, to be on my character. So how will I do that? I want to get a video texture. I will go to custom layers and texture maps and I'm going to add this to the texture map. Now it's mapped as a texture. I go to scene setup, I right click on diffuse and no, I just click on diffuse and from there select a custom layer one free HD stock footage dash J. I select it, I hit OK. And then I'm going to take the diffuse to a default Y use amount to where it was and then test tip reflection to zero I'm going to make shadow I'm sorry photo opacity to 150 and for refraction we want to zero and now as you can see um, we're pretty much done with calculate to zero and we got those that texture out of it. So now as you can see this is a reflector right there. Now when I move it the texture will move. So it's better for animating some kind of water and everything. And yes, you can use that not only for diffuse but all of the So this was all about materials and if you like my video please like and subscribe to my channel so that I can make more and more of them and I'll try to create some more um, advanced tutorials on Element 3D and some new techniques. Thanks for watching.